start a, a speech with, a, uh, with, an, with an apology and a joke. Um, I'm going to start instead with, uh, with an introduction, just a couple, a, a couple of additional comments about my background. Um, I was, uh, I've been with uh, Microsoft for about eight and a half years. I was hired there um, in late 1999 to run the Microsoft Security Vol Response Center, the organization that you report uh, externally found vulnerabilities to. And when I was hired there in, uh, in 1999, I was 28 years old. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, the, and the apology is that is that sort of an obvious um, approach to, to measuring, measuring security. And, uh, and if it is, um, I'm interested in your feedback. Um, something that we found useful, um, people sort of, sort of said, you know, yeah, yeah, that's that's a big deal. On the other hand, I've seen it written anywhere. Um, my failures to write a paper. But since this will get out to you. It's um, of interest. Hope that's something. Um, reduction, um, little, little years. Um, I lived in Victoria, uh, for, uh, for about three years, um, uh, during which, um, I for a lawyer of in the room, uh, working on mathematical models of your system. I also, for, uh, lamented incorporated built one system. It was uh, so secure that he wanted it um, and made the, made, made the decision to uh, cancel the project. As, as, as Chris, uh, Mike, and I wrote the SDL, um, and uh, at the current sales, um, I'll remember the chance uh, they gave in 2020. Um, uh, but I encourage you to buy a copy and, uh, and, and help move that. In. So what I do, some background on Microsoft, sort of doing things more seriously about, about security, um, production, SDL, um, about which so Steve would be, um, and uh, into the, the in particular work um, and Trying to, trying to develop some of the things did. Um, the two metrics that, uh, that came out of our initial efforts, what we do at and experience observation, and hopefully move out for the crawl. So, um, some of you may know some of this history. Um, Microsoft. It's Security Response Center just 10 years ago. Um, and you know, so the first thing we did was to sort of take sorts of vulnerabilities in our products and get ourselves organized to, to respond to um, in, in And, and we, you know, I think we were reasonable to do that uh, when I came in 99, but we do a much better job today. Um, but, but, but in 2000, had sort of in, uh, in, in session, uh, the red worm, uh, the Nimda, Nimda worm, and talked about extensively, uh, in, in yesterday, in notes to yesterday, and, uh, in P vulnerability, uh, in which P was a vulnerability. That certainly can allow the uh, XP systems in the internet into one DDoS vector and might not have exploitable to code. Uh, the reason why I differ from that. Uh, the key about that one, uh, you know, nobody, nobody did DDoS or, or code to our knowledge, but it, um, it was a, sort of a, a flaming public visible ability, our new product, where we, in fact, 
committed to some level of training, uh, try to tools and uh, make the system secure than it, its predators. So the fact that we sort of uh, the sort of had kind of out that soon after the had shipped uh, was not for the of a happy uh, time that and uh, uh, you know a number of looking were levels of the security problem and needed to do it and those things culminated in 2002 with Bill Gates were the uh, everybody in the more important than you might because people seriously and it gave them uh, the way to make really big business decisions like the like stock development of server 2000 being 8500 for security and to go forward and try to make the more secure with not a lot more God in those days than that um, I, I, I Sure, I remember Chris was right an at stake. Yeah, consultant time help, uh, helping the S6 group uh, do things and uh, its product. A little more about S6. So we did we security push what we call a stand and everybody and, and, and fix code. We also toward the end of the product um, did some. That we have called and would now call security room. Basically, a batch taking people who weren't product team and doing to see, okay, the job to do um, is the is product fit. And really, uh, that fit in some and some and some to the product the result, the result of, that, of that review. And then, at 2003, we found that our we, we all did you know, stages of a security capability really to find capabilities in our product and 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 tools to eliminate them. Uh, and to the to the world around we, we started to plot we were the security and finally review model to to other products basically to any we thought was important enough. Um, and also to do more about, about the education of engineering staff as the company. Uh, in 2003, um, sort of executive management said, uh, you know, this.
enhancements would never be abilities. Today, we believe maybe there are people who do too. Software like cryptography, okay, you build security how best science technology and um, and it's or somebody finds your attack and your the threat. I won't say that sort of term. Your model changes and you go change your technology and up the way you build systems. So a lot of CL is learning. Um, when the product we integrate what the security center does, vulnerable is to fix of that ability product where reported will also use that to uh, to introduce new tool new tech new processes to the CL with the next of the process and in fact uh, we're on this month cycle DL new requirements, adding new tool new um, adding new variation whatever we can uh, in defenses and to make things better. A little more specifics of the model uh, on this slide. The uh, team that I some of the other from my career in um, is uh, historic reasons for the secure win initiative. It's a security uh, for the a part of the company. Um, so we start out with a product, work with them as they build the product. They meet the requirements, things like um, threat modeling during this. There was a session modeling here uh, earlier. They, as in this case, the most challenging things we have figuring out a new threat model that you know, engineers who aren't secure experts have done. If you looked at I come to, uh, to the modeling chat in our book. This isn't a plan. It's just the best way to do it. Um, and to add uh on the SQL block uh, that, uh, that came in the last probably couple of months. Um, development, we do a lot of tools. Um, we like, like automated tools as uh, scalable. Um, and be re reliable. We use static analysis. We use, uh, we use, we use configuration planning. Use specific thing or planning tool to look for specific classes of software configuration or system configuration. Uh, we make that people build uh, with the uh, mitigation technology, uh, SLR, uh, to execute action, use the compilers so that they have overrun built in, um, integer overflow plugins, the scan uh, analysis tool. Um, so, 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 certainly, being tool, and then the tools, it turns out that as, as, as I said, no effective at finding vulnerability. Security, we don't so much more. I've come up with the that a key push is you do if you a pre sell product, uh, you know, it's probably vulnerability over time. You don't do like that so push. Vulnerability is going to stay a process ongoing. We'll keep introducing and people report abilities against you. you'll work with old ones but it's a long time security put important to get to get better get it and I think some of the vulnerability out of a security review still do um, two questions if product has the the requirement right tools you configuration etc is it secure to ship even if there's, um, you, know, you run all the, there's something, an issue come up yesterday, you're going to tomorrow and be critical vulnerable. 
recorded again today. So I ask you to and 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 consider there isn't a bad way. Uh, you know, so that's that's sort of the clause in the um, And then response once you share, uh, we like for a fact. Uh, so we response problem. And we still have a loop. I let me get after the security push um, in 2000. In 2002, uh, Mike Howard and I each uh, you know, about two weeks sleep uh, because uh, the, the, the security push was intense. And then we start looking ways for the effect of what we how. How how this uh, how do, how you know how do we feel how the job we've done? the question was answered by the final review, uh, but we all started um, we all started studying. now sort of here are the questions and text for what we to come up. With. The metric we came up with based on experience as a commercial shelf. Vet, uh, Building products. Okay, the cots until I've used these slides. Slide one for a governance. Um, and so what we is to try, okay. Got version of the field. We've got version of the can. How does that? Compare? How does this, the version of the shipping? Uh, we're okay. One that we're on. Um, so what we'd like to predict, okay, and, and the third, somebody, I think Dan Dan here this morning about known unknowns, okay, we, vulnerabilities are, you know, vulnerabilities are sort of there, okay, and, uh, in the sense that you know, even if you, thought it, if you didn't think it, and somebody puts that vulnerability to you, you still have to fix it. We'd like that, that sort of at the ability, um, you know, the, the points on the side, you know, we control the decisions, control the easy at some level. Uh, security focus, security risk is really unknown. Unknown. And to deal with after the product, we like to deal with before we ship the other considerations there. That's what that's what vulnerability most customers um, the fact that another the fact that area doesn't you know about vulnerability is one of the why I think about a criteria um, and customers they complain about vulnerabilities and being or patch uh, not an internal tool. So that we came with two sets of measures of security. One was the surface uh, was developed by Michael Howard uh, and, and what what he called relative surface. Uh, I suppose he rasp, I don't know that I've ever pronounced it that way before. Um, and it meant all the things about the product in all configuration. And it compares those. It, it a new, builds a new score uh, based on some somewhat our coefficient, and then compare your current version, the version of development against a against a prior. Okay. So, for example, the SP looks really better than uh, um, XP Gold or. Was in and, and all fault P2. All the open ports aren't open anymore. And if you, if you look at the field, think you know, on wood, but, uh, but sort of slammer, the sort of their, uh, uh, blaster uh, worms, uh, you know, sort of drop off. And I think because attack has changed. One thing uh, that we, and that was um, published previously, uh, 
proceedings there. People at Mellon have done it and followed in, in research. And then the other metric, which I with around the same time, um, what I call the volatility coverage metric. I don't, I don't exactly have a formal name, name for this, but you know, that probably does. So here, you know, here's the definition on the slide. Um, you have security risk looking at your product. Um, you have a product in the product of development. Okay. And then if abilities related, look at the version under development and say, I have gotten one, even if I know about it, uh, even if the person reported to me before I got the version. And would have eliminated it, then it counts as, uh, as good. And if you wouldn't have count eliminated it, that counts as bad. And you just metric um, over development of the version. How many vulnerabilities reported against the version have been eliminated? From the new, and a higher age eliminate better. Uh, and, uh, you know, the arithmetic there, I won't even try it with calling math. And this is something, this is something uh, I haven't uh, at public. I talked to one allegedly event, probably, uh, but, but you're, you're pretty the first people in the community to hear about. Okay, so, so how do we get, well, uh, that, um, you know, that, you know, I mean, said would have been eliminated, and if it's gone easy, not gone, then it's so, then it's so straightforward. So what we do is a root analysis for each report externally vulnerability and a Against the product under development and the plan, um, and, um, and you and then the, the are here, the best can uh, you know, circuit chain eliminates a class of vulnerability. So, for example, we went through with uh, out all the uh, all the un uh, all, all the string handling. For vulnerability against Windows and or or uh, requires you know, on a uh, depends on unchecked API. It's not going to read Vista to win that. That's a clean. Um, also, changes. Uh, somebody was something out, eliminate component or the way it worked, made something out, uh, make it go away. Um, that's not, not as aesthetically pleasing, still can. Um, and, and if the vulnerability pros, if they're in the new version, uh, you want to look to say, you've still got time, got headroom for uh, my ship, can I do change the list, change the rules, change the coding content, do more, do more fun, et cetera. To eliminate, and, and those are things too. I mean, we locked down at the beginning. These they were going to go really forward um, and ship what comes in part of the feedback. But we don't can change if it's, if it's a miss. Um, we always if, if reported again. We always do it before the process in any case. Okay, that count against. That just so you have to fix. Uh, and uh, the metric, among other things, I looked at um, as development to determine whether you're a ship. So, um, with this Vista example, your actual reports information after the scans went out. Uh, to high, levels, to high level Windows management. 
are we doing? Uh, I see those reports. Uh, and this is something that I has has on and, and has and has created. So notional what that means is not dimension, and I'm not going to numbers. Um, uh, life cycle version in fork that base to n plus one and one thing that's against uh, against n um, so be in one because this is in code base. As it goes on, I change to n plus one code base, remove classes of varieties from it. and then over time if new people new classes of varieties uh, are decided uh, that a version and they may the yep, they may all stand plus uh, so um example uh some uh I think this is probably an example. Um the the use of using uh for 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 uh for security just ice out over to uh, off 2003, major out of office facilities reported uh, through the 18 years. Obviously, foot was a part of the cycle for off 2007 um, or off 2003, pack three. So we hope we hope we knocked the uh, these down. Really, we were metric office um, as part. So, um, experience um, using a version of the surface map and use the coverage um, on an ongoing basis uh, for current readers off list, list there. Um, the, uh, Baseline SD requirement pretty active uh, in case of, of they more than the S requires today, um, and that active um, in a few we did make changes in response to vulnerabilities that identify new classes new classes of problems. Um, yeah, well, so, so just. You know, Brack, bag slide. What we said, uh, the slide was uh, first year after this on the left and this right, um, taking from the uh, NV base, the database, um, with vulnerabilities and rated against product but fixed for X. Uh, XP and, uh, and Vista, um, not reflecting, not reflecting severity. I think that that also gets severity rate, but haven't we haven't gotten into that level of analysis yet? Uh, we use the first end. Um, it came up with Windows Server 2003 uh, as a way of seeing how we're in the field. Again, sort of. Matters to is is abilities once we have the product, and we're pre we're pretty pleased with the way that Windows Vista has gone and would again. more experience. Uh, uh, let's see, uh, Chris's uh, S uh, I X. Um, I think probably uh, data. This is his first. This is. First year data for IS because because I knew that I five had more than vulnerability in any in any early that I can think. Although it sort of dropped after about 2003 to four, been pretty since. Sex is good. Six the uh, gold would be two last year I and silver. Uh, up to pack three, and, and SQL Server has had a very clean run over the last uh, over the last five years. Pack three, so the 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 does work. 
Uh, uh, let me talk about, about other ways to measure. Uh, the product, the coverage metric, you don't have an outside vulnerability researcher uh, community. You're, you're sort of, it's sort of, it's sort of in fact, not usable. So, uh, I mean, there may be ways to simulate, be able to simulate with, with external integration tests. I'm not sure it would work something to, something to you'd want to send to develop rather than, uh, than doing a snapshot, um, doing it as a snapshot at the end. And so I'm not sure how it would work. We're fortunate enough to uh, have an, a big external vulnerability culture community looking at looking at the office uh, other major products and gives us the ability to use this. Uh, you know, that, I mean, it's not when they find it, it's a good thing. When they look, at least we know, we know what we're doing. Uh, that apply to existing to a process are all valuable. And actually, we do things too. You know, we look at bugs to be found and fixed at, at genetic analysis to see found and so on. But that's reference to the tool. Those are own on okay. If you run a tool and you run it directly, it will bugs it fine, and you and you, you fix it a lot. There's some new vulnerability or something you haven't thought. Of. You're not it by measuring the tool. Uh, the you know the the yeah the, the external don't our problems, and if they're still seeking for vulnerabilities, okay. You know, they know we uh, they may invent a different fuzzing or find a new claim back. Um, obviously, a preliminary, maybe we have tools, we measure effectiveness tools, uh, we measure the use of tools and the fix of the vulnerabilities that, that they find. Um, but the, the coverage sort of unfold test, and so that adds a a different dimension. Uh, all, all wrapped up. I'm running a little, but I think it's only me from the pub crawl. That's possible. Okay. Um, I, 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 you know, clip this into into my presentations when I'm talking to people about development. Um, Microsoft has done to try to. It's it's. The, I don't need this to you, but other there's other 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 groups have have security too, um, and so uh, it's 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 important to think about about security for other elements. Uh, so you know, by way of uh, thing that we useful um, project the vulnerability. It uses the research community as an validation. Um, and we get more software out of it. Um, it's being software, and you play by this, it's something you know, we've had good experience with. I encourage you about how you might get and try it. At some point, it's in there. I'll, uh, I'll, write, I'll write a paper about it for something. At least you know, you know what's in, in the so, so, so I'm, I'm way early. Um, if I I was being a slot like uh, other sessions, still a bit. Uh, I'll, I'll take questions. Uh, so you said that these uh, metrics are n versus plus one, and then you have some of these showing like you know a 50 reduction approximately.
maybe technically evolved to where, uh, uh, you know, found twice as many capabilities in your products as would in your So instead of being sort of 50%, it's a 50% absolute, but maybe made a much significant because now you're uh, a class of it as well. I think I know what you're saying. Uh, I'm not a factor that in, in a quantity way. In, uh, you know, what, you know, what, once we uh, once we've shipped, locked down the product that's there with the automatic editing, we get better. We get on a take of and take of certain which is a for customers, so we can't, you know, we can't pretty change this pack point when, you know, we